all right let's go with time rates so time rates is also an application of derivatives and do not worry we will encounter more applications of derivatives after this pass so hmm, exciting now let's define what a time rate is so if a quantity x is a function of time t the time rate of change of x is given by dx over dt so for example na kay equation uh, x is equal to uh, kato no with respect to time so you have to derive it with respect to time rather which is dx over dt did i say it right okay so when two or more quantities which are all functions of d are related by an equation the relation between the rates of change may be obtained by differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to t so for example na kay um, equation na s is equal to um like x or 4 plus t for example lang so derive din mo siya with respect to t so therefore may mo ds over dt stuffs like that okay so kitawag siya time rates because now we will be dealing with time no unsa ka paspason no so basic time rates Velocity, acceleration, discharge, angular speed. So, if you already had your physics, you already know the basics of the following mention. Okay? So, steps in solving time rates. We have... So, if ma visualize na to ang problem, you have to draw. No? Draw na to ang figure. Define na to ang given values. Formulate equations afterwards. So, Next is to differentiate it with respect to time. Ngano with respect to time kay time rates, no? Kalihan niya sa maxima minima si time rates kay of course, nagadeal siya with time. And the last one is to substitute the conditions to the equation. Let's say for example, water is flowing into a cylindrical tank, okay? First is to draw the figures so, nado cylindrical tank, no? Nade. So magdrawing daw ko faucet. Faucet daw ni siya. No? Di ba? Kung bala mo drawing guys. Mugi nag CPE ko no? Okay. Faucet. Yes naman. So faucet daw na siya. So. Nag flow daw ang water. Sa faucet. Like. Munang water. Blue na to. Para realistic. Water. Ah. Diba? Water. So, nag-flow siya sa cylindrical tank. Pag-drawing sa tag cylindrical tank. Or cylinder. So, tank na cylinder. ba? So, ang pag-drawing cylinder, no? Ano? Ah. <laughs> okay. So, cylinder na siya. Imagine. Na. Okay. Tank na siya, no? Kita mo ng tanky sa inyo mga balay na cylinder. So, kani siya, siya, cylindric, ana, perfect. Alright. And then, ay tubig daw na nag flow 24 feet cube per minute. Cubic feet. No? Tapos, pag flow niya na, of course, na igaagas na tubig diha. So, na igaagas siya na tubig. So, for example, diri na ang tubig karun. Nabot na ang tubig diri. Na. Na nadira, no? Muna na siya ang tubig. So, i-label na nato siya. So, we have the radius. If the radius of the tank daw is 4 feet, unsa man ang radius? Kani. Muning radius sa tank. Kani, oh. Kani, ito nga, ana. Kana. 4 feet daw na siya. Diba? Pag i-drawing man ni mo ng circle man ilalom sa tank. So, circle na siya. So, muning ang radius. Diba? So, kana siya? 4 feet. Diba? So, can I put 4 feet? Okay. And then, second step is to define the given values. Okay? So, define, uh, can I siya, ang flow, pag flow do sa water is 24 feet, cubic feet per minute. Next step is to formulate equations. We, we, so, man, pag formulate equations. So, magunahon na ka. Ang given karon is, ang given karon is, it's a cylinder. 
and it talks about water. So, what is the volume of the water? So, the volume of the water is the volume of, kabalo naman ta ng volume sa cylinder is pi r squared h. So, now, naka-formulate na ta og equation. Okay? Our problem is, unsa na, unsa atong ginapangita, Daddy, sir? How fast is the surface rising? So, kaunsa daw kapaspasun, musaka ang tubig? So, kani siya ron? No? Kaning linya, diri, paunsa kapaspas, musaka ang tubig? Murag ka na sa balde, magpaagas ta, unsa kapaspas, musaka ang tubig? So, i-label na to na siya as dh over dt. Anong dh over dt? Unsa ka paspason? We are talking about height with respect to time. Nabulol. With respect to time. So, so therefore, the issue over dito itong ginapangita. And this one, from dere to dere, isang height sa tubig na isaka na. So, let's label that as H. Okay? So, I hope nasabitan ito. No? Uh, klaro siya. Gibisaya na ginako. So, before we substitute, or before we derive with respect to time that first, we are going to substitute 4 first. So, 4 squared pi h. Volume is equal to 16 pi h. So, we are going to, according to rule, differentiate with respect to time. So, differentiate the with respect to time. Sir, what my t that na variable? Unsa ang pag respect to time? So, ano lang? With respect to time. O, oh, ba? Then, 16 pi is constant. Then, dh with respect to time. Hindi, human, yung problema. So, na nakaroon no, nakita na ito si th over dt, which is ang atong ginapangita. So, what's next is that, ana siya, nag-flow daw ang cylindrical tank at the rate of 24 cubic feet per minute. So, mo na siya ron ang ato ang dv over dt. No? Unsa ka paspasun, nag Nag-flow ang water. Unsa ka paspaso na siya. Mo na siya ang dv over dt. No? So, pag mo hindi kagkapaspason, nagyo na siya with respect to time. So, kani siya ron is 24. Make sure, guys, make sure na fit siya, fit siya, wala tayo kinahanglan i-convert. Because, kadalasan mamali sa exam is, fit ni siya, i-inches na siya, gidiretsyo na ninyo og substitute, which mabazero yun mo ana, no? So, iwasan na to na siya na mistake. Sorry, wala na. So, divide both sides by 16 pi. Ayun yung irad inyong calculator, kay mazero inyong score, no? So, 16 pi, so mama. 24 over 16 pi, that would be um, 0 0.477 feet per minute. Okay? So, guys, pag, for example, sa exam, ang instruction is give the whole decimal numbers. So, dapat 0.47 just until the end of the calculator. Okay? So, sa karun lang instruction, so this is now good. Alright. Easy pa lang, no? Question number 2. Uy! Same gap po, no? Water flows into a vertical cylindrical tank tapod so ah cylinder na pod sige lay example unya ngan mako cylinder char kung sabit ako makita no mura akong ginasulat <laughs> basta oi bahala ko oi bahala gud na siya dira oi eh. ay oi Sige na lang. Skip na niya din na part, no? Kaya nag-draw yung pag-cylinder. Okay. Nanapod na yung water na nag-flow. So, of course, na yung tubig. Tubig na po daw. Faucet na. Na, faucet. Tapos, tubig. Okay. And then, the surface. Oh, so, kani, kani, kani na time. Kani na given, rather. Given ang surface na nag-rise. Unsa man ang the surface rises at 6 inches per minute. So kani daw siya mo do ning 6 inches per minute. Unsa man ni siya? Mo ni siya ron ang dh over dt, no? Nag-nag-rise daw ang surface. Okay? So given na nanatay dh over dt, naatay dv over dt. Okay? 
So, unsa gina pangita? Radius. So, with the equation of the volume of the cylinder, which is V is equal to pi r squared h, volume equal, eh, volume equals, so, itong gina pangita? Ang um, radius. Okay, radius itong gina pangita. So, wala man tayo ma-substitute, itry na to derive B with respect to time is equal to constant si pi, then, um, R squared, then, ang height, ano saan height? Ay, dili na lang saan nato i-derive. Sa ba day, sir? Step by step na to, no? Di ito mag-shortcut, shortcut. Relax. Zero, at, uh, ano saan height? Six inches per minute, which is kan, eh? I know, that's not the height. That's dh over dt. Kato, tama lang ito. I-derive na to. Sorry. So, derive na to siya with respect to time. Nga nung i-derive na to, kaya wala man tayo ma-directly substitute, no? So, pang kita kita pa maagi na makabuha itong equation o nilaan na tayo ma-substitute para makuha na itong answer. Same with this one. Ang given is dh over dt lang o dv over dt which is 24 feet cubic feet per minute. So, kung sa itong ma-substitute tira, nothing, nothing. So, therefore, i-derive na ito ang H with respect to time as well. Okay? So, nga nung wala i-derive si R, sir, mo may ginapangita. No? Okay? Okay, kung i-muna ito, DR, oh. Mira si, di na, ma-o, kay radius raman. Diba? So, we have, oh, Sir, feet, cubic feet man ninyo, kani inch per minute. So, di na ito, not siya pwede i-directly substitute. So, akong buhaton, is since wala'y nakabutang na, show your solution in in feet or cubic feet per minute. Wala'y na kayo na na. Show your solution in cubic inches per minute. Wala. So, karon, pwede ako magbuot sa kong answer. Akong answer, gusto na ko siya ang radius in feet, dili in inches. So, kung gusto na kang radius in feet, saan niya akong i-substitute? So, 6 inches per minute, i-substitute na ako siya into feet per minute. So, in, 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 in 12 inches, na kay 1 foot, right? Mawala ang inch. So, mabilin is 6 inches over 12, a 6 foot over 12 minute. So, that's 0.5 feet per minute. Okay, 6 over 12 or 1 half. So, therefore, kaning 6 over 12, muna ni siya si dh over t or si 0.5. So, pwede na nato siya i-12 is equal to pi r squared times 0.5. Okay? So, mahita po ani, divide na to both sides by 0.5 pi, 0.5 pi. Mawala si 0.5 pag si pi. Okay, so R squared is equal to 12 over 0.5 pi square root square root. Your answer is your R is equal to at 2.76 feet. That is your final answer. Okay, next. Oh, kani kite. So medyo kani siya is um a little bit complicated. Ah. So, a kite is 40 feet high with 50 feet cord out. If the kite moves horizontally at 5 miles per hour, so, ano kay kite? Ano kay kite no? Drink the kite. Say kite. Mani siya ang kite. Naanan siya sa taas daw. 40 feet. Sorry. Imaginary na lang. Lion kite. Naanan naman daw siya sa taas. 40 feet. Okay. If the kite moves horizontally, so ang kite daw nag-move horizontally. So for example, kani ang kite nag-move siya horizontally. So unsa man horizontal to? So syempre na may hangin, pasaka gyud na yang movement, no? So at 5 miles per hour. Sige, so horizontally ang pag-move sa kite. So horizontal kani ang kite, mo-move siya ana. Sige. So drawing sa ko ha. Say for example, si x is ang horizontal distance. Okay, so 
ang kite daw naga move og 5 miles per hour. So 5 miles per hour pag inana gani nana siya with respect to time. So that would be your since horizontal man daw x. No? Naga move daw ang kite horizontally so dx over dt mo na siya si 5 miles per hour. Okay? So So inana na siya. Okay. So 40 feet x and then sa paman directly from the So mo do niyan tao nagpalupad og kite. Na, ani ang kamot. Na. So how fast is the cord? Ah, so unsa daw kapaspas ang cord mo buhi sa tao? So unsa daw kapaspas, no? So ang ginapangita is kani ang s, ginapangita is ds over dt. So unsa ka paspas ang cord mo musaka or ang ang hilo no ang hilo hilo man sama dati sa kite unsa ka paspas ang hilo mo mubuhi or mo, mo, mo taas ang string mo taas kay mo saka man ang kite so unsa ka paspas mo na siya ds over dt so we have already laid out the the unknowns okay so notice guys that this is a right triangle and remember that upon ti uh, upon upon solving time race we have to formulate equations so, upon formulating equations, once again, that is a right triangle. We, do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Of course, you remember that, no? So, S squared, by formulating formula, S squared is equal to X squared plus 40 squared. No? Kani o kani. But remember that we have X, no? 50 feet cord out. Narito x na 50 feet ani. Ay, dili day. 50 feet cord out mo din yung 50, no? So, uh, kite is 40 feet with 50 cord. Oh, okay. So, mo na din na 50 cord out. Mo na din si cord. Kani siya si cord. No, 50 feet na daw siya. Sa karon 50 feet na siya. Okay? So, ang ginapangita, unsa ka paspas sun. So, 50 din siya. So, 50 squared is equal to x squared plus 40 squared. So, ang ginapangita is kato ds over dt. Hmm. Sige, ds over dt. Interesting. Sige ha. So, makuha na to si x3. So, x equals 50 squared minus 40 squared square root. That is 30 feet. Okay, that is in feet. So, 30 feet na daw siya, no? Our next goal. Kung ka po na to ni siya na equation, kaya ginapangita man si ds over dt. Okay, so that's 2s ds over dt. Derive na to ha? With respect to time, so kani is 2x dx over dt and the derivative of function of a constant is 0. So s ds, mawala si to no, I derive na to both, I divide na to both sides by 2. Mawala na nabilin. Okay, so now that the given na dx over dt but take note that is in 5 miles per hour atong gusto is wato nato siya into feet mamagi yun no feet so wato nato siya feet per second okay. express your answer in feet per second so unsa na to na siya Saan na to siya pag-convert ka ron? So, how many um, how many feet in one mile? So, uh, one mile one mile is 5,280 feet. Sorry, one mile. So, five miles per hour Okay, na kita tayo memorize. Mag-memorize kita ni guys, no? Ay, sorry. 1 mile 5,280 feet. Tapos, since seconds man siya, um, cancel na to si 1 hour, 60 minutes. Tapos, in 60 minutes, eh, in 1 minute, there are 60 seconds. Binana man mag, kuan mag, Convert. So, review na to na. So, para makancel ni si Miles, makancel si Hour, 
makancel si minute. So, ang mabilin, feet per second. Okay? So, ang nabilin ani ron equals 5 times 2, uh, 5 to 80 feet all over uh, 60 times 60 seconds. So, that would be 22 over 3 feet per second. Okay? So, si dx over dt is 22 over 3 feet per second. So, balik ta dere. Ang tabo is si s karon is 50, di ba? 50 ds over dt. Si x x ba itong ginapangita? Dili. Si x. Dili. Si x itong ginapangita. Si x is 30, di ba? 30 man si x. Then, si dx over dt, which is 22 over 3. Oh, so, okay na, no? So, pwede na ito makuha si ds over dt. Kaya na naman tayo dx over dt. Na, na, na. Na, na, ni. Na, na, ni. Si s. So, by calculator, no, use our scientific calculator. Magay na engineer ta kay Nga may calculator, no? So, 30 over 50, that would be 4.4 feet per second. Then, that is your final answer. Okay? So, again, do not just rely on my lectures. Daghan kay examples of time rates na basing magawa sa exam nyo. Basing daig dilit na ni cylindrical tank. Basing natay uh, rectangular throw no natay mga inana mga nay mga ladder nay mga ladder na mag-slide mag-slide daong ladder ana so pag-slide niya nay saka pa pa mag-slide ang ladder sa wall mga inana na question sa time rates so i suggest you have to study and practice more about time rates okay so i can send you this uh, powerpoint as well kanan si mga examples so thank you for listening have a very Good day.